all right guys welcome back to the channel and we're gonna do a little modification for the jumper easy book pro 3 as you can see I've opened the bottom the 10 screws are removed I disconnected the battery so we won't shorten anything while we're working and this is where the normal M2 uh, SATA is being plugged and there's this plastic bracket around it normally I unscrew the screws and remove that bracket as well the idea here is for me to remove this little uh, screw hole right here, the raised screw hole, so that I can install a longer uh, M2 dot SATA uh, drive right here. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to screw it down once we put it in, but if we lose, uh, use some electrical tape, there'll be no problem holding it down. Once you put the bottom cover, it will not go away anywhere. I just wish a uh, jumper have put one of those here further back so you can just screw it up and uh, don't worry about it and you know they, it would have cost them a couple of cents to put that on but it is what it is so now we're going to modify it i am going to use a dremel tool i'm going to prep the a laptop and i'm going to see, uh, see before i start how it's going to look so give me a second all right, so what you want to have here ideally is a plastic bag or some sort of plastic that you can wrap the whole laptop with and only make a small incision to leave a hole where you're going to cut. And I used uh, masking tape or uh, painter's tape to tape around uh, the hole. So when you cut with the Dremel tool, the metal shavings will not go to the laptop and you know transfer over to any of the electronic components. That's essential, you don't want to shorten anything later when you plug it in. So when you uh, cut, then we're going to use some uh, sandpaper obviously to send that down. I'm going to use compressed air to blow all the shavings, try to clean it as much as possible before I take the plastic off and reassemble it with the new uh, solid state drive. So let's get on to the cutting and uh, we'll show you how that's going to do. Now, obviously, before starting uh, to cut with the Dremel tool, we want to use some eye protection. You know, any goggles, always recommended. Uh, there will be a lot of shavings coming off, so you don't want to damage your eyes. Use these before you go. All right, I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible and as accurate. Uh, you know, hopefully I'm going <laughs> to try not to damage anything. I've done modifications like this in the past, so I'm not a complete noob, but, you know, uh, it can always be uh, something that go wrong. So let's get on to the drilling. That's it, we're done with the first part. Now we're gonna send it, clean it, and reassemble it. Please stay with me. All right, now that we cleaned it up, uh, this is how it's gonna look. Uh, obviously, small mark where uh, the raised part was for the bolt, but that's fine. Now we're gonna install the uh, new solid state drive. I'm gonna put the tape over. I'm going to show you how it looks before I put the uh, lid and we're going to fire it up with the new one in. Stay tuned! Now what we have here to install is this Intel uh, longer M.2 uh, drive which is obviously um, bigger on size as well. If the camera focuses on it maybe maybe not come on camera all right there we go so this is 180 gigs got in a pretty good deal from dell.com here in the states obviously this is 
twice the size of the my previous one the sand disc that I had left over from another device so you can see the size difference here um, but obviously this capacity is bigger on the Intel the drive is faster itself so I had to uh, install it what I use to migrate the OS from the existing one to this one is one of these devices let me show it to you real quick this is a couple dollars actually from China I bought this from Gearbest and this is kind of adapter SATA to uh, M.2 SATA SSD so you can plug it in here just like that put it in here connect your normal uh, SATA connector or whatever some cable you have from external drive this way use any software of your likings to um, do that conversion this migration and once it's done it's good to go already tested it with it and it works no problem so this is very useful device um, what uh, I'm using for migrating is easy to do uh, it's called a software it's pretty basic I actually bought a copy of it because I like it so much and it works great so let's install that in and show you how it works all right, here's the drive installed. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it doesn't have to be. Once it's under the cover, you're never gonna see it. So I put some electrical tape on the back to hold it and some across. So I think we're gonna be good. I'm gonna launch it right now. Remember to reattach your battery connector uh, and see what's the situation. Again, another warning, if uh, you're relying to use the warranty on this, please don't do that. this modification. You know, me being located in the States, this coming from China, I'm not relying to uh, do any warranty claims, so I can do it on my own risk. So I will be back in a second. All right, so after we install it, uh, remember first to go to, the, to your BIOS and change the boot device to the new uh, drive, because for some reason it defaults to something else. I don't, I don't know, EFI something, but um, you got to change it to a new device new drive once you go in there We're good as you can see we have the Intel SSD right here and the Windows is running on it. So uh, No problem whatsoever. This modification is pretty quick and fast um, and I think uh, You know it will allow you to install some longer drives faster drives larger capacities obviously so uh, don't be afraid to do it uh, ask me any questions if you have I'm gonna run some tests on the speed probably post them on the end so you guys can see them do this for now as always guys you have one for